Hi, my name is Justin Kowalczyk. I'm a mechanical engineering student at Michigan State University, and I'm applying for an engineering internship at Yanfeng this summer. Um, before we get started, I'd just like to thank you guys for giving me this oppor opportunity to interview, and it really means a lot. I'd be so happy to work at Yanfeng this summer. So the first question I have is, when you were a kid, who did you want to be when you grew up? Um, for me, it was my father. My father was one of those people who would always put everyone else ahead of himself. He made sure that me, my mom, and my sister always had a good quality of life and made sure that you know we had food on the table, we had the money to do things we want, and ultimately he had to do this by sacrificing his own time. He worked seven days a week and midnights and even overtime. But he did this all for us, and he was just one of those people who could make friends with everyone. He didn't have any enemies. Um, we could be at the grocery store or gas station, and he could just start talking to someone so easily. And I just inspired to be someone as kind-hearted, as um, hardworking, and as selfless as my father was. The next question I have is give an example of when you had to work with someone who was difficult uh, to get along with and how did you handle interactions with that person. So last semester I was in a class um, where we worked with two other people and we were designing a crankshaft. And one of my partners, he was uh, excellent, great to work with, but my other one, he Every meeting he would show up and he really didn't have a lot to offer. He never really had any work done to compare with us or really any ideas. And so the first meeting, um, we showed up and he didn't really have much to say. He, we asked him if he understood anything or any questions. And he said he understood everything, but um, I'm sure maybe he had something going on um, or something came up. And so that's what I thought. But then the next meeting came. And the same thing happened. He, me and the other group member compared and chose our work. And the other kid just didn't really have much to offer. He didn't have any ideas. And so I thought I'd reach out to him and see what was going on. And it turns out that he was quite struggling in the class. And um, unfortunately, he wasn't really doing well on exams and quizzes and he didn't really understand what was going on, so this made it hard to do the projects. So what I ended up doing is, um, for we would meet, me and him, and we would go over the project, and I would sort of like tutor him and help him through stuff. Um, and uh, he ultimately got better and was more engaged, and I think he felt more comfortable in the setting, and he could express his ideas. and. Um, it turned out to work out well and we got like a 97 or something on the project so it all turned out well. Um, my next question is what do you think the three most important to you in a job are? And the three most important things in a job to me is one is achieving great results. Um, like with every task I'm presented I want to achieve the best results I can and by doing it right and doing it ethically. So that's one thing. The other thing is I want to develop and grow as an employee and as an engineer. I want to develop my skills um, and becoming a more valuable resource to the company. And thirdly, I think the most important thing to me out of everything is making sure that when I come to work I make everyone's job easier. Um, I just want to be a valued member of the team and I just, when someone goes home at night, I don't want them to be stressed. I just want to be one of those people that can always help out and make sure everyone, when they come into the office, that they have a positive experience and they can be happy. And I think if that could happen, uh, that would make me the most happy. Um, next question is, Give an example of an occasion when you use logic to solve a problem. Um, the first thing I can think of is 
uh, over the summer of 2018, uh, I was an engineering intern at Jack Products. They manufacture roof racks for major automotive companies. And the group I was working with is there's an uh, engineer, a manufacturing engineer, and then my boss was the director of manufacturing engineering. And basically, their whole their whole job at the time was preparing a new automotive manufacturing plant in Ohio, and literally tasked with building it from the ground up. And my job was mainly to produce AutoCAD layouts of the new plant. And the, I can remember there was this one time when I was tasked with designing the area in AutoCAD for the shipping good or finished goods. Um, so like the shipping lanes and I wasn't really sure how to handle this. Um, so I think the most logical thing that anyone could do is go look in the plant we're in and see how it looked in there. So what I did was I got a measuring tape and I measured the size of the lanes. I noticed that um, the finished goods were on an angle. I measured that angle. And then I ultimately talked to the forklift drivers because I wanted to see they're the main people who interact with those. So I talked with them and asked them if the system they had in place um, worked at the time. And they said that it did work. They liked how they were on the angles. They wish all of them wish they had a little more room, but unfortunately, the plan is only so big, and so I had to make the necessary adjustments in the AutoCAD layout for the new plant. And today, the plan is up and running, which is pretty cool to be honest that I helped out in. Um, the last question I have: What was the first thing you ever designed? The first thing that I can think of that I designed from scratch and build myself built myself was seventh grade I was in a wood shop class and uh, I built a birdhouse and this entailed me building it in AutoCAD first and then going in the wood shop cutting the pieces and gluing them together and I just remember just feeling so accomplished when I actually had put it together and you know you just I just felt like euphoria of like feeling really proud of myself that I did this and I also remember the whole time I was building it I just wanted it to be better than everyone else's I I had like a knack and desire to have the best birdhouse in the class um, yeah so that was the first thing I built and it was pretty memorable and it's still in my room today and I just won't forget how happy I felt knowing that I could produce something like that from um, bottom up so yeah um, I'd just like to thank you guys again for listening to this and I'm really looking forward to the next steps thank you